Well, we continue the second part from where we left off. We left off at the material sections. We're able to incorporate all the materials in our geometry, concrete, wood, insulation, aluminum. We built our geometry and now we, we head into our physics. So this is where we, we left off uh, in our previous video. So let's start our physics quickly. We move to our physics, and as I said earlier on, we'll be using a heat transfer to add some flux to it. So we find heat flux. Good. And we we'll select boundaries two and ten. And let's locate the, the convective heat flux. Let's turn it on. So we'll click convective heat flux. So we have the issue is one by zero point one one. And the degrees is going to be 20 degrees. C. So it's going to be like this. So what is 20 degrees C? Let's add another heat flux. And this, let's put this heat flux at this selection. And we'll use a convective heat flux as well. And at the heat transfer coefficient, we use this value for that. And under the temperature, external temperatures. Okay. I set it as zero degrees. Yeah. Degree Celsius. Yeah. Okay, so we've been able to set the heat flux for one and two. Let's put boundaries. So here, meaning that at this part, this boundary. As you can see, we'll have the external temperature being set to 20 degrees. And at this boundary, we have the external temperature being set to zero degrees.
So basically, where we have as you can see from our materials, this side is where we have the aluminium, and this side is where we have our concrete. And the heat fluxes have been set to each boundary as so well for the concrete and for that of the aluminium. So let's go to study and uh, can quickly compute and see our results. What we are getting. Okay, so as you can see, it was a very quick result that we, we had. So let's look at our plots, shows the distribution of the heat, uh, the temperature distribution. And you're able to see the isothermal contours as well. So this is the temperature profile that's from 290 to 274. Let's go to results. I want us to derive more results. Okay. Let's choose integration. Okay, so we, we basically came here, derived re results, and we selected integration. So we went to more derived results and went to integration. So let me do this again. Derived results. went to integration here, line integration. And we're gonna select some boundaries. Okay, let's look at boundary. Select boundary 10, let's see. So where we have the expression on this two, you're going to replace the expression. Go to component one and we transferring fluids then boundary fluxes. Then we look at the we want to look at the inward heat fluxes. Let's evaluate that. Now we're going to export. So 
let's go to results and let's go to data. Let's select data and the expressions for where we have our data. I'm gonna change some expressions in here. For instance, Gonna enter this as degrees Celsius instead of I'll be the temperature. And let's locate the output. Okay, so we export this file to a suitable folder so depending on where you want to export this file browse then you name this text file as the thermal thermal bridge Composite structure results two D two D let me save it there. Okay, so let me save it in a different file. I'm gonna save in a different file like this. Maybe over here. New work. Which to be so it's Let me save it right on my desktop. I think the folder I'm saving it is. So let me see, just save it on my documents. I think that will be better. Eternal bridge to the results. I save it there. So I have my results saved and I can use that uh, data to compare with other work that I have and it's good. So basically that brings us to the end of our work as you can see. And if you have any questions, you can, you can let me know in the comment sections and I'll do what to get back to you. So basically that's the end of this section of this video. And I'll, I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, all right. I also forgot to add that I could um change some of the for instance the heat flux you could you could change the temperature so I'll make it make here 50 and maybe we can make here 
no, I think 10 is okay. Zero is okay. So this is 50. I have 50. And we could compute that and see how that will differ from our initial results. So basically, not so much significant uh, difference. There's no significant difference to it. So. Basically, this is how to model a simple 2D composite structure using different materials with different thermal conductivities to get your results. And also how to export the data sets to a file that you want. You could also do, maybe you could also add, sorry. Let's also add maybe time dependent and vary it with different times. You understand? So that one, I think I'll, I'm not going to do that because. It's not needed in this work. This is just a simple tutorial about depending. Some people like to add a time dependence study. And as time goes on, they like to see the movement, the distribution of the the the, the temperature in the structure. It's also a good way to analyze your work. But this is just a stationary simulation that we did. So if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment sections and I'll see you in the next video.